Popular beach in St. Clair Shores is closed due to high levels of bacteria. Macomb County says that the shape of the beach makes it more likely to harbor pollution. It's a problem that's been happening for years. Tonight's 7 News Detroit reporter Darren Cunningham is raising the voices of several St. Clair Shores park goers about the closure and talking to the health department about keeping beach goers safe. I haven't come too much, but I've never seen the beach open. We stopped by Veterans Memorial Park in St. Clair Shores, where unfortunately the beach is closed as the holiday approaches. This beach has never opened. Marsha Sedgman went for a walk with a friend, while Nancy Kilinowski and several other families brought the kids to enjoy the splash pad. We come here all the time. We don't like it that the beach is not open. It used to be a long time ago, but I don't know why it's not anymore. Everyone wants to swim here, but they can't because of the pollution. That's right, the beach is closed this week because, as this graph shows, there are high levels of E. coli in Lake St. Clair, according to Eagle. The Macomb County Health Department monitors for elevated E. coli levels at five area beaches. I'm told they take two samples a week during the summer months. They say too many geese come here. In the morning, there's like 100. All the geese have the right to be here too. <laughs> God created them too. Goose poop, as well as that of seagulls, Ducks, dogs, and deer are some of the sources contributing to elevated bacteria levels, as Tom Barnes explains. Kind of He's the division director of Macomb County's Environmental Health Services. Every couple of years, there seems to be some years where we have more closures than others. Um, and I think a lot of that still is, is weather. Barnes says rain and wind pushes the fecal matter into the water, where if it lingers long enough, you run into pollution problems and the beach needs to close. As solutions, he says raking the beach, moving the geese population out, and keeping trash cans covered are actions to take. As far as treatment of the water goes, I don't see anybody doing added any additives or doing anything like that to it. Um, you know, it's that hasn't come up, and um, generally, just with good beach maintenance practices, you can generally get ahead of it pretty well. In St. Clair Shores, Darren Cunningham, 7 News Detroit. Goose poop. It's always the geese. <laughs> always. Blame the geese. All right, let's.